Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the sound test room. Today we are taking a look at AUM and I am using um, some of the packs from uh, a, a Fanatical and also uh, SoundtrackLoops.com. Now Fanatical are, 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 are normally associated with games and Soundtrack Loops are a company on their own and they're normally associated with loops uh, for uh, games, films, TV, etc., that kind of thing. We're going to quickly look at the Fanatical website where these bundles are available and they come in three tiers and they're very, very good and very reasonably priced. In fact, tier one is uh, like a dollar throughout uh, December, I think. Anyway, as you can see, I have lots of these. I'll move this across with my finger. These loops loaded in, and at the very end, I have a pure synth which is doing this horn sound, which is going to go along nicely. Now, we'll quickly, before I start this, I'll quickly nip along and show you the actual website. So just bear with me just a sec. Okay, so when you go to Fanatical, now there is a link in the description of this video for this site. You will see that the, the soundtrack loops bundle, and here, you will see there is tier one and it's five products normally priced 85 pound 39 if you buy them individually for a pound and then there's tier two which is 11 products and tier three which is 20 26 products and that's only 18 pounds 45p now i am using two two loop packs from tier three. I actually have three loaded on, but I'm going to do another one in Q basis. So let's just scroll up and see what you get. So in tier one, you pay a pound and you get all this stuff here. And then tier two, you pay nine pounds 23. And then you get this extra stuff, including the products above. And then in tier three, you get tier one and two, and then all these extra things. Now I've got uh, Iron Scores in there and Epic Orchestral. I also have, I think, Shadow Impact, which I'm going to use in Cubase, so not in this one. So in this one, we're going to take a quick look at Iron Scores and a quick look at Epic Orchestral. And the first one you're going to hear is Epic Orchestral. So we'll nip back to AUM. And now we're back in AUM. We are going to hit play and we're going to start off with these two loops here. OK, so as soon as I hit play, everything is synced up. And then what I'll do is after I played you this little session for a couple of minutes, we'll create a brand new session so you can see how you can do it in AUM. And then when we go move on to Cubasis, I can show you it in that as well. So here we go.
So you see, you build up these things. Now, these are all royalty free. And trust me, these have been used in films, movies, TV for ages and ages. Films, movies. Isn't that the same thing, Doug? Yes, it is. Um, but yeah, you get the idea. You build up the loops. Now, you don't just get this in the, in the, in these packs, of course. So let us do this. Let's set up a... Let's clear this set. I'm going to put Bruce Free on my microphone. Okay, because that stops all the external noise. And let's first of all have a look. So what we want to do is be tapping on a blank space here like this. And we want to go to file play. Now I've downloaded all these loops and things into um, AUM and just unzip them from there. So it's, it's, it's dead easy. You get the download link, you copy it to Dropbox. From Dropbox, you import it into AUM, done deal. So we just tap to load like this and we go to load a file. This will take us to AUM. And you'll see there that I've got iron scores there uh orchestral construction well let's have a look inside the orchestral construction because that's what i used and all i used there was some of the loops from a minor loops here and you can hear them we can uh, kind of just uh we could audition them before we even import them and then we could say well okay uh, let's try another one so go back and then you've got battle loops and then you've got whimsical orchestra dramatic loops once and you, you've got your bpm and your key signature so you're good to go so like i was doing playing along with um pure synth i was using an a minor pack there so if we have a look at uh, this one dramatic it's you also get the midi with some of these this particular one you also get the midi data as well so you can just use the midi data if you want to uh so let's have a listen to these And then you've got, uh, let's scroll down a bit. So you've got twisted strings. Timpani. But I want to use something from another one. So I'm going to take a look at the iron scores there. I'm going to look at construction kits. And maybe uh, some from 115 BPM. So what I'm going to do before I even start, I'm going to set my tempo to 115 BPM. That's actually easy if I just do this, isn't it? Boom, boom, boom. There we go. 115 BPM. And go back, load a file, and go to Iron Scores. Construction kits, 115 BPM, and let's see uh, what we've got going on in here. Okay, cool. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap on this like this, and it will load it in. Now, you'll see it says loop and sync. You don't need to worry about sync because I've already set the sync tempo up first. I'm going to turn loop on, and as soon as I hit play... just automatically keep looping which is very cool which means we can carry on now and build another one so let's go in here let's do audio again file player and you can really build these up very quickly uh what are we on iron scores construction kits and there we go again and let's look for some sort of um let's use my finger because it's quicker uh, oh we've got some nice let's try this piano Yeah, that's cool. Now, you don't have to bring these in um, all the time. You know, that's quite a loud one. So we can obviously mix it down. And again, if we look at our thing, we just turn a loop on like this. And now we'll have bass and piano playing. Now, of course, because these are waves, they'll work in anything, you know, Cubasis or it, anything, any of your doors or desktop doors that use WAV files, which is very, very, very cool. Let's try another. Let's load another one in here. And audio, uh, not audio unit. File player. 
load tap to load a file um, iron scores construction kits and hey, here we go I'll just use my finger again see if we've got some percussion in here yes we do we have timpani let's say let's just load that in shall we let's set it to on let's just reset You might notice there as well that because I haven't set my enable to loop, that won't loop. So that's up to you. If you only wanted the phrase to play once in AUM, for instance, it's different when we're doing it in Cubase because we're actually loading loops in and we can arrange and adjust the loops, uh, you know, as we like into a, into a structured track. But in AUM, I'm just using it to trigger the loops. So if you have play enabled as well, these, you can switch these off. And what will happen... It will just play along until you... And you could just, you know, do it like that. It's very cool and it's very quick to build up entire tracks that you can use. Of course, with AUM, you can record all this stuff in here, export the stems, and then chop them up that way if you want to do. But the more lo you, logical way would be doing it in a door like Cubase. So I just wanted to show you how easy it is to get them into AUM and how easy it is to get it into a door. So if you're actually in AUM, you just do exactly the same thing, or Cubase. You just import, and you can still, you know, listen to the, listen to the loop. And then you're good to go. And there's, like I said, there's loads and loads of this stuff. You're not just limited. Oh, you can mix and match as well. Just bear in mind, you need to might need to sync it up or retune it or <clears throat> something like that. Easier to do in a door than it is to do in AUM, of course. But yeah, we could do it. Just you can just it's great. You can just carry on adding stuff. Uh, let's see. Tap to load a file. We find our iron scores, construction kits. Uh, and there's, there's, like I said, there's not just, you could sample any of them. See what there is, see what the flavour is. But I find it, it most logical to stick with at least the same key if you're using one shots or stuff like this. Because many of these have like one shots and things as well. But you see, you get an awful lot. So you're not limited to just having a few samples, especially if you buy the... I think the best value on it is obviously tier three, 18 pounds, because you get an awful lot of stuff. I think it's, oh, it's a couple of... one will have a different flavour so you could say I mean we could load this and I don't even know what this is going to do let's have it loop and let's reset I've got 
Sengsus. mix switched on and then you can start of course adding your own instruments in making them your own if you're in a, if you're in oh, adding effects of course to really dramatically alter the sound of the original loop guys anyway there you go there is a look at the fanatical and soundtrack loops bundle that you can get now there are links in the description below for a uh, fanatical and also well it will take directly take you to that bundle link that i showed you earlier anyway uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll have another quick look at it if you like. And there it is. So you get all this cool stuff like Lo-Fi Drift 1 and 2, Heavy Industrial, Shadow Impact. Plus, again, all the stuff from the, the top two tiers. So, good to go. You only want a few? A quid. You want it all? You want it all? £18.45p. Guys, thank you very, very, very much for watching. And thanks to Jason and Fanatical. Jason's a real good mate of mine. So, you know, it's it's a pleasure for me to uh, advertise and promote his stuff for him. I think it's great. But I do genuinely think the loops are fantastic. And it's not just cinematic stuff or classical. There are, as you can see, loads and loads of different genres in there. You know, and in with each genre, there are loads of different... Like, for instance, we saw it in the Epic Orchestra, there are loads of different keys, tempos, same with iron, uh, iron scores. And then the other one I've also got is... I've got, I've got them all, but Shadow Impact, I want to be using some of that inside Cubases when I do one for that as well. Anyway, brilliant. Top job. I will see you guys later. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Please consider becoming a patron from as little as a dollar a month and I will see you guys later. Ta-da!